Hey, I'm Randy from Osborne School Boards. I'd like to show you a Aussie Rules and Cricket Combination School Board. Um, it's, uh, it's quite good with this one because we have two school boards that are set up identical. Um, these are for the city of Little City. They'll be going down there. Um, we have these set up, as you can see, this is an Aussie Rules Cricket and Multi-Sport School Board. It has a scrolling electronic text display across the bottom, and it has roller shutters that will actually come down and close it off at, at, uh, when, the game, when the school board's not in use as well. This one here right now is set up for the Aussie Rules um, scoreboard. Um, you can see we have a game timer. The game timer itself can either count up, count down, or show the time of day. Normally with Aussie Rules, once it's a preset game time, the game time actually counts up, so you can actually have your time on and whatnot as well, um, so the referee can actually control. The scores themselves, you have the goals, the highs, and totals, um, automatically increment, so as one team actually scores the goal, so you can see the points actually go up by the correct amount. And behind it actually go up, it actually goes up by one, one as well. And the way, it's the same type of thing. So yeah, it goes behind in your total. The scoring is actually really simple to do. And you have your electronic text name display that actually at the bottom here as well for sponsors, for game information, and text as well. Um, the, uh, the color of the scoreboard is going to be any color bond color. Um, and the, if we print all this up to actually suit your club colors, this one here is printed in black. But if you also want a club logo or something, you can see there's plenty of space for logos for your club name um, or for sponsors as well. All this, the uh, covers are all breakable Lexan polycarb spaces, um, and it has a UV anti glare um, surface over the top of it as well. So it's, when the sun shines on it, it's actually not going to have a glare for you. So that's really good. The digits, these digits are 300 millimeters or 12 inches in the old scale. Um, digit colors can be either yellow, red, uh, white, or green. You see this one, like I said, is set up for Aussie rules. It has a roller shutter on it here. I'll show you this one, the same type of scoreboard here, set up exactly the same way, with the roller door down. And you can see the roller door will actually come up. What's great about the roller door, this is going to add years and years onto your actual scoreboard life of the scoreboard. Not only is it good for vandals and whatnot, to stop them from actually breaking the scoreboard, obviously, but it also protects it against the weather as well, especially in like an hour's display of sunshine. Um, you're going to get a lot more out of your scoreboard. They're a little bit pricey, but really worth the effort if you want to take a protective scoreboard. Um, and I'll show you how we mount them at the end of this as well. Um, now you can see this one here is set up for cricket. Okay, now cricket, you have your same headings. <clears throat> Basically, when it's in the cricket mode, we're each showing the bats and then individual runs. So add each bat and um, scores here. You can see it actually goes to the pro proper innings total. Okay, yeah, the same thing with either batsman as, as the other batsman scores as well. That goes up. Scores automatically increment. When a new batsman actually comes in, their scores actually goes to zero. That, that batsman scores and the totals actually add across onto the new one. When a new inning is actually goes into it, the, uh, that previous inning total here actually drops down on the bottom plus one run. Everything resets itself and then the new team that actually comes in starts batting. And of course, there in this total needs to be the chasing total. And that continues to swap over. Your wickets and your overs, of course, they increment by one at a time. Um, and they, uh, they basically just go by one at a time. And they'll reset as the new inning goes. Time of day, normally with cricket, cricket set at the time of day clock. Um, you can, once again, in cricket mode, you can have a game timer count up or count down. But normally, cricket's set up at the time of day. So, that's the same thing. Once again, these are two identical scoreboards on both sides. So this also has the 300 mil text line that scrolls through. And these messages can be changed as well at the other side. Now, the third sport that we actually have is set up as a multi-sport setup. Multi-sport, so if your grounds have playing like rugby league or something on there, you can see you got a standard game timer. You can set these up, set the game timer to count down um, or count up or show time of day. And you have various presets, you know, 2, 3, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever. But you can actually preset and then the time will start counting down. When it does count down to zero, obviously there's a siren that will sound. And we do have an external siren that is as standard, um, which is about 110 decibels, and you can get an extra loud siren as well. But uh, once again, the game timer is counting down there, and the, the scores are basically home and away scores, and they increment one at a time to show your home and away. Pretty straightforward um, setup for your uh, for, for that type of a, a game. And once again, you can also they can have your scrolling text display. Um, and then at the end of the day, you just basically lock your scoreboards up by dropping your roller shutters down. And then it locks it all the way, turn everything up and power it off. Now, one thing I want to show you too for the installation, it's pretty important. On the top of the actual scoreboard, we install a couple of lifting eyelets that we actually use here on the top, as you can see. There are two of the eyelets up there. Um, and from that, there's actually a threaded rod that actually comes down inside the scoreboard itself, which picks up on the central framing to lift the scoreboard up. 
And then those eyelets actually come off, uh, come off the top, so you can actually then use uh, brackets to do drop down. You can bolt the scoreboard into place for easy installation. Okay, and it's actually quite firm. Mounting of your scoreboard can be anywhere along the external parameter of the scoreboard itself. Um, normally, it just sit onto a top bracket, to sits onto a bottom bracket, and you put your holes at four and they'll centers all the way across the bottom. The tech screws up, M12, M14 tech screws up. Just set your bottom in, um, and then you secure it into the top. Your power is brought in on the on the right facing end. Okay, and we have a power supply that actually come out here. Standard 10 amp, 230 volt um, is where your power is. And you basically take your mains power into that, and you have an isolator switch to power your scoreboards on and off. Sirens are connected on the end. These are both wireless setups, so you get an antenna with it as well. Um, so, so you can control them from up to 300 meters away, so for three football fields away, so plenty of room for actually, uh, plenty of distance for actually uh, control from. Anyway, that's it. Listen, there's two scoreboards, exactly identical in every facet. Both are fully programmed um, for, the, for cricket, for Aussie rules, and for a multi-sport setup. Both of them have roller shutters that shut all the way down to secure it all up. Um, pretty standard, straightforward information uh, as far as uh, how to actually set them up and to install them. Um, and that we can provide, we will work with you if it requires installation to be done. And we can do the installation for you as well if need be. But anyway, that's it. I'm Randy from All Sports Scoreboards. So you can find out more about the scoreboards or custom make any type of scoreboard uh, we can for you. Um, just check us out at www.allsportscoreboards.com. Um, and, uh, and we can put it up for you to suit your requirements.